Matrix N-Track theft recovery operation. It's Wednesday the 8th of May 2019. So we took a call yesterday from a construction company who had a concrete pump stolen. It's a Putmeister trailered uh, concrete pump worth 55 to 60,000 pounds and obviously highly valuable if it's on a trailer and easy nickable. They armed the motion sensor, but we did not receive a motion alarm. So that was quite unusual. And we have since overnight tried to alarm the unit and it's not alarmed into us. So uh, in further investigation, we can see that at this particular area, this construction company built swimming pools and it was in a rural location. And there's no mobile phone signal there. When we checked with the construction company, they said their mobiles didn't work. So. Clearly, we think now what's happened is the unit's gone into motion alarm, not been able to attach to the mobile network, and um, is now basically in alarm at this location or close by to this location, not able to hook up to the mobile network. So we've got no confirmation. So in this situation, uh, normally we'd wait a few days and then the unit would pop up. But because it's such a valuable machine and it's not too far away, we're actually going to go and see if we can pick up the RF signal and which will intermittently connect at certain times so we can uh, basically investigate with the uh, roof antenna in the area to see if we can pick up the signal. We've not done this before so it's uh, a complete opportunity for us to try and recover a stolen item which has not been connected to the mobile network. Where the machine was stolen from is just north of Reading and from our current location it's about 38 miles uh, so we're traveling up the M3 when we get close to site we put the roof antenna on and what we do is we basically grid the system the roads there's not many roads there actually it's really rural so we go up and down the roads and the tracks that we can find for a couple of hours and just grid the system and check that the unit is not in alarm close to the theft site that's basically what we're doing okay for about four miles from the search area where this asset was stolen from, uh, just south of Henley-on-Thames. So we'll be going through there, Henley-on-Thames village soon. Uh, we've got the roof antenna on. We've got the frequency turned up on its highest range. So if we, if the, if this machine is stolen and hidden in the area, then uh, the RF beacon will be pulsing away. So we're just going over the River Thames, but this is the um, Oxfordshire area of the river, Henley on Thames. We're at 2.3 miles south of the uh, theft location. We've got CCTV footage which shows that when this um, concrete pump was wheeled out towards the road, it showed it being picked up by a Citron transporter turning left, which means it's headed north. We're, we're presently just south of that location. This area is called the Thames Valley area and it's actually reported to Thames Valley Police. So there's still no uplink, no mobile connectivity in this area. Okay, we've picked up the signal here. We might need to travel back, it was a bit louder, but we we we'll carry on going forwards. Getting louder. That's good, we've picked up the signal. Um, no mobile network here, but we've got the RF, so brilliant. We're gonna find the tracker. Let's just hope it's still on the machine. So, gotta go back this direction. We've got this side road.
Wow. I've switched it to a lower setting. So it's not on the lower setting here, so we need to turn around and go back. I'm keeping eyes peeled, but I can't see anything. getting loud up here I can't see anything up there so we know it's pretty close to this area um, there are there is a barn over there um, but I'm not sure if it's in there so it all looks quiet here anyway uh, just a few birds and pheasants so I can't see there being much trouble tried to call the office but of course there's no mobile phone signal here so that just goes to reinforce that um, we've picked up the tracker RF without any mobile connecti connectivity from the FEF location. We're about two miles north of the FEF location we just carried on heading up that road and, and we, we picked up the RF but now um, the situation is I can't use the roof antenna anymore because it's, it's, it's losing it in between these couple of buildings and the road here. There's not many places it can be there's like literally a barn a barn up here maybe I can walk up there or maybe the track has actually been removed from the asset and thrown on the on the grass or something so we're getting the signal behind those hedges because as soon as we go up this way we lose the signal there's nothing over this area uh, we have got an option to put the drone up in the field being lobbed that, that's uh, giving off the RF signal there so what's occurred is they've they've stolen it from this direction they've come up this road here and they've pulled into this lay-by where we're pulled in rummaged around on the concrete pump and uh, found the found the tracking device um, and then they've thrown it over that fence into that field and uh, we went through that fence there, it's broken anyway, so we went through there and a bit further along where that wooden post is, there's another fence and scaled the fence, went in, get the, got the tracker in, came out. So in this case, uh, they've got the machine, we've got the tracker, so not the perfect result, but sometimes that happens. Uh -huh.